Well, hello everybody. It's Ronnie with Whip and Chain. I work alongside Maggie and Lauren to bring you crochet tutorials. Today I want to show you how to do a join. There have been many different methods on doing them. I have found this one seems the most secure and there's no weaving needed for this, which is really super nice. So the stitch that I'm happen to be working on is the half double. You can do this with single. You can also do it with double. And if you'd like, you can also, one of my ends are sticking up. You can also do it with a treble. You can basically do it with any stitch you want. Okay, so my recommendation is you keep working till you have give yourself a nice little tail not ridiculously long but and then we take this is our tail that's ending and we're attaching our new ball so you crisscross the yarn just like a big X and you flop the one that's on the bottom over and then you flop the other one over so you have like a U Tell him. All right. So I bring my end to where it's past my crochet hook. All right. And it stays up front. Your end that's ending. <laughs> your end that's ending. Your yarn that is ending, you leave up front for you. Okay. So when you pick up your project, I do recommend that you put your thumb holding that end in secure. Now you wrap your hook absolutely using both strands and you go in and you proceed to do your stitch. Now as you do this, your join is going to come very fast. And right there it is already, see? And then you go through. Now once it's hooked, Wrap your hook and do a half of your next stitch, like that. And then what you want to do is you want to drop it in the back. And you just bring your continuous yarn and you continue. Now, you think, oh, I'm going to be able to see that stitch very easily. You're the crocheter. You're the author of your work. So, yes, you're going to be able to critique your work and see every little thing. But... To the natural eye, people are not going to see it. And that's what's spectacular about this. And then once you have it in comfortable, you don't even have to weave these ends in. You can just cut them. And just cut them. Just like that easy easy so I'm gonna do another one so you can see it again so I don't want you to think it's hard it's not hard it's actually once you understand it it's really nice so I'm gonna end my end pretend this is ending one of my yarn balls. I'm going to lay it out. I'm going to lay the string of my new yarn ball. And I'm going to make an X. The yarn that's underneath on the bottom, you pull over. And then you pull over the other one. Where you make a little U. See where it's holding each other? Okay. Then on your project, make sure you pull this end enough where it's going past where your next stitch is. So when you pick up your project, you can take your thumb and you can hold that down. Okay. Wrap your hook. You go on your next stitch. And look at that, it's already through. So because it was very close, I'm going to do one more just to hold it. But then you can drop your yarn in the back, that's the end, and then you can proceed 
undoing your stitches. And with these, you just cut and then you don't even see, people cannot see where you did your join. So it's a lot of a lot of stress off of you for wor worrying about tails and all that other stuff. This will work with any thickness of yarn and really any stitch. So this is how you join. And I want to say thank you to all the love we're getting on this group. I appreciate everything. If this video was helpful to you, can you please hit that like button at the bottom and hit that subscribe button? And also you can come find us on Facebook under WIP, W-I-P, and Chain. WIP is for work in progress and chain. And I work alongside Maggie and Lauren to bring you crochet tutorials to help you be successful. Thank you everybody for your time. Until we next meet, bye-bye.